Have you ever heard of a kid named Seth Smith? The answer to that question is, you probably haven't. And there's a very good reason why you've never heard of Seth Smith and the injustice of his story. Nothing better epitomizes where our country is at the moment when it comes to race, when it comes to the criminal justice system, and when it comes to the culture of the media. Seth Smith was a 19-year-old student at the University of California, Berkeley. He was double majoring in economics and history and was on track to graduate a year early. His dream was to attend grad school at the London School of Economics. On June 15th, 2020, Seth Smith was going for a walk outside his house in Berkeley. While on his walk, he was shot in the back of the head and killed, execution style, in cold blood. His body was found a half hour later, sprawled out at a bus stop, with his earbuds still in his ears. The person who killed him was a 60-year-old man named Tony Walker. While being interrogated by the police for his murder, Walker said, quote, A white kid gets killed and the whole damn world stops. Fuck that white motherfucker. He admitted to shooting and killing Seth Smith for absolutely no reason, just because he was white and walking down the street. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why did I never hear about this? Why was there never any extensive media coverage of a 19-year-old kid killed in cold blood because of his race? Why weren't there any protests or demands for justice for Seth Smith? And that's because just a few weeks prior, George Floyd died after an interaction with Minneapolis police. Now, unlike Seth Smith, George Floyd was a career criminal. He once spent five years in jail for breaking into a pregnant woman's apartment and robbing her at gunpoint. And he died while high on fentanyl and a police officer trying to arrest him was kneeling on his neck. This led to mass protests for the entire summer in the United States of America, the most destructive riot damage in American history. He was buried in a golden casket and received three funerals at a time when people were denied funerals for their loved ones due to the COVID pandemic. George Floyd was the only thing people talked about for an entire summer. But Seth Smith, he didn't get any of that. In fact, this is what his college wrote in a letter to students after he died. Many of you had had a close relationship with Seth and are feeling a sense of loss and disbelief. Others, like many of us, are experiencing stress, grief, and anxiety related to the coronavirus pandemic and the recent murders of George Floyd and other black Americans. They couldn't even give Seth Smith an obituary all to himself. Now, Derek Chauvin, the police officer who kneeled on George Floyd's neck, was convicted on two counts of murder and one count of manslaughter. He was sentenced to over 40 years in jail. But Seth Smith's killer wasn't even convicted of murder. He received a plea deal from prosecutors to voluntary manslaughter. He was sentenced to 25 years in jail. Voluntary manslaughter and 25 years for walking up to a kid and killing him in cold blood for no other reason than he was walking while white. Now imagine this happened during the George Floyd riots, but with the races reversed. Our country would have burned down a second time. There probably would have been federal hate crimes charges. But when it's a black guy shooting a white kid, the media just shrugs.